G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Now this one I'm quite proud of. It's the Bushwalkers medical kit. Now it's from Survival Supplies Australia and I was part of putting this together. I went in and asked them about making a med kit which was a basic med kit that people can add to and also the snake bite kit which bushwalking in Australia or even just going down the local reserve there's a high chance that you may come in contact with a snake or see one necessarily chance of being bitten by a snake is very 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 slim as long as you do the right thing all will be good so don't go panicking there it's only in case the snake bite kit the first thing is the pouch they put it in. Yeah, it may look a bit big, but this is both your uh, medical kit, your med kit, or your first aid kit, uh, and also your snake bite kit, and room in this pouch to add things in that you want to add to your kit, so both. The uh, pouch itself, right, let's show you about it. this. It's got the molly straps here so you can connect, uh, connect it to your pack and then your packs with your molly or your pals webbing on it we've got the buckle which is pretty decent and we've got the rip off where we'll just rip off the panel so that will stay on your pack and then you head off with this and do what you need to do and when you finish, you'll just come up and stick that back on your pack. And then do the strap back up to make it secure again. So that'll go nowhere. And it's not the most expensive pouch, but it's pretty decent quality. You've got your hook and loop across here. And as you see, we've got a little first aid cross on it there Got some molly webbing on the front so if you wanted to attach anything else uh, so you've got the options there too so let's get inside let's take this off a little bit lighter same weight wise it's, it's not that bad the the pack I think will probably be the heaviest and I uh, know, but yeah, I'd say the pouch, I keep calling it a pack. The pouch would be the heaviest part of this kit. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a pretty good pouch. And you'll see. So if we unzip that, and it drops down into three sections, which you can organise to suit. So let's adjust the camera now so you can see. first section here it's attached you can't take it off but mesh pocket with a zip pretty decent zips on it I think they're just the plastic zips but pretty good now for most hikers this is the one thing that most hikers classes the the number one item to go into a med kit and that's fix them all so as soon as you start getting a hot spot cut a bit of fix them all put it over the hot spot and it helps to stop a blister forming or if you already have a blister formed you use this again put it over the top of that the blister and it will stop the rubbing on the blister and act as a second layer to protect your blister so that is a nice little touch Then micro pores paper tape also comes in this and the most important thing people say uh, as a bushcraft or a survivalist is your silver blanket so emergency survival blanket from survival skies australia 
and that's the company who's made this kit up. Uh, underneath there, there are tweezers to get any splinters out or whatever you want to use it for. Let's put this all back in now. Zip that up. Now, like I said, we've got extra space in here. So there's the elastic, uh, elastic band there, or the elastic ribbon. So if you wanted to, you can add more into it. Let's take them out. And the first thing we come out with is the triangular bandage. They're very handy. Next item is the assorted fabric bandages, wound protection. And there's 20 in here, and it says premium weight, latex free, hypoallergenic. And that is an instant cold pack. So if you're out there and you're making a fire and burn yourself, or you get a serious patch of sunburn, That'll help cool it down. And the next one in there is the pack of cleaning wipes. And in there, how many have we got? We've got 10 cleaning wipes in that. So you can clean all around your wound before you bandage it up to make sure you reduce the infection. Put all this back in. And then we'll move up to the next section. Again, you've got your elastic ribbon here, so you can store extra stuff in there. In here we've got the conforming bandage, the premium quality, lightweight, non-sterile. That's five centimeters by four meters in length. And what's that in inches? That means two inches by 4.3 yards stretched. And this is a snake bite part, a combination of this and your triangular bandage, depending where you get bit. Now these ones are pretty good, I like these. They, they've got a, a printed box on it. So you, when you stretch it around your arm or your leg, that will open up and once you get the actual square shape of the box on the actual uh, snake bite bandage, it's called a tension indicator, I think, yeah, with tension indicator. So when that's at a certain shape, that means you're at the right tension, so you're not gonna stop your blood um, flowing, or it's not gonna allow your blood to rush too quickly around the body. So it gives your body time to fight off the actual venom of the snake bite. There's two of that in this pack. So the size of these are 10 centimeters by 4.5 meters which is four inches, which is 4.9 yards stretched. They'll be necessary if you're walking, like I said, anywhere in the Australian bush or the local grasslands or down a local uh, reserve. So they fit in a nice little pocket there. Next thing, move the Velcro. And we'll just take all this out in one go if we can. Okay, your first aid kit edition. This gives you the basic first aid, uh, like the doctor's uh, A, B, C, D. Foreign bodies, just a very basic. So the best thing to do is take a first aid course or even a outback first aid course, also known as a wilderness first aid course. One, two, three of them, three of them, 
and two, three of these. They've got three gore swaps, the absorbent, sterile, premium, eight ply, 100% cotton. There's three pieces in each pack, and that is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, which is four by four inches. And there's three packs of them. Next size down, more gore swabs. Uh, they're three pieces in each pack, so you get nine in total, the same as there, nine in total, and nine in total with the next ones. And they're 7.5 centimeters by 7.5, or the three by three inches. And then you've got the smaller ones to finish it all off. And these are five centimeters by five centimeters, three pieces in each pack, and that's two by two inches. So, like I said, it's very basic. The basics you'll need going out bushwalking or hiking uh, anywhere here in Australia and maybe in other countries around the world with the snake bite kit I did. It's at this point, this is where you can add anything you want to it. But at least you know if you've got this in your pack, you're covered for basic first aid, snake bite, and for emergencies, like I said, you've got the blanket there to wrap yourself up in to help with the hypothermia or even use that to make it shade so you've got somewhere to sit under away from the sun so that is the C uh, survival supplies australia bushwalkers medical kit now they do have a couple of extensions to this different versions coming out like uh, a proper survival kit itself and that where there'll be basically the same items in here but a little bit more and what I'll do is I don't know if the links up yet but I'll get the link and I'll show it down in the description box below but as you notice I took out I've a couple of light sticks which I added in here myself and let's take another package in be a lot easier that's one light stick Two light sticks can go in there. So if I have to use one, I've got a second one for the second night. And as you know, most of these light sticks last about 12 hours each. I think that's what these ones are. At. Yeah, it glows for 12 hours, and these things do last that long. I tested for one of these, and I'm going to be doing a video about these shortly. So let's move the rubbish. So there you are. Good first aid kit. Add what you want to it, your medication. Now I'll go back over, so that's nice and secure now, so it's not going to get caught and opened up with the bag on top. And they just reattach the molly webbing. I can't remember which way, that goes that way around. On the back. Clear the strap back up. And that's it. The Survival Supplies of Australia Bushwalkers Medical Kit. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. So you can uh, get notified of all future upcoming videos. Hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.